Alright, what's up YouTube? So, before we get into this video... Yeah, gotta have that. Got my hot chocolate? shown on YouTube for sure and on Instagram. It's my first video. Um, I felt like starting off with mastering and singing is to me I feel like it's very important. So in the first video um, I discuss what I feel like mastering and singing this is. And just to kind of give you a clear understanding, uh, the first video uh, was basically me telling you know you guys that you know upon my research that um, the structure of mastering and singing this foundation uh, basically has to start with your relationship with God. I feel like that's a good baseline. Like for instance, like if I take this cup here, the cup itself will be, the foundation starts with your relationship with God. So the cup is God, the presence of God. You're in it pretty much. So now in this video, I'm gonna discuss the different uh, parameters that God has set forth for us, uh, big guidelines, right? And basically, you know, God is gonna fulfill your cup with the guidelines that you need along your journey of mastering your singing, this is what you're going to need to be able to progress in life. So that's what this video is pretty much is going to be based about. Um, it's just the guidelines that I have discovered, I'm going to say given me, because you know, in my own life I've discovered it and I'm sharing it with you guys. So basically, um, yeah, just the guidelines. So let's get into the, uh, the guidelines. This is what God desires to give you while you're mastering the singleness. So God is gonna give you a place, right? Not an apartment or anything of that nature. Uh, basically, uh, he's going to place you, right? He's gonna provide you a place. So what I discovered place means is the presence of God. So take, take me for example. I begin to understand what singleness means. So now he has placed me in his presence in order for me to be able to receive the word for me to understand uh, the things I need to do as a man moving forward in my life, right? It's placed me in front of him. Once I'm, I've been placed in front of him, now he can feed me the word. He can um, also guide me in the right direction. So now it becomes purpose, and that's number two. So after place, right? You place you before him, now he gives you purpose. I don't wanna really get into what my purpose is because I'm still trying to find myself as a man. But if I can name one thing I would feel like would be of a purpose of me is like, like being a disciple, like teaching people what I've learned, using me as an example, uh, things of that, na of that nature. Um, for you, it may be different, right? So after purpose is provision, right? And to me, I just feel like with provision uh, are guidelines around your purpose, like certain things that are gonna be implemented in your purpose that are gonna allow you to progress and thrive uh, within your life, right? After provision comes identity. God is gonna expose your true identity. This specific thing here resonates with me the most because I really never really understood what I thought I understood who I was. And by me mastering my, my, my singleness and being one with God and understanding my purpose and, and, and having provision and understand what that is, I'm starting to begin to understand who I am as a man a little bit, right? I'm starting to seek more wisdom, uh, if that makes sense. And I'm starting to um, understand that the first basis of identity, before you can even, even figure out who you are as a man or a woman, he told me that, you know, God made man in a split image of himself, right? And I'm going to say right below Jesus, right? Because I believe none of us can really actually compare to Jesus, right? So I just feel like that I will, it's safe to say that he, he compared us in the split image of, of them, right? So I would think that, you know, me living out 
my life as a, as a man being uh, as godly as I can be. Not only myself, but you know, people around me. If I can explain it that way, that'd probably be the simplest way I can explain it. Me, as a man, is just my identity for right now before I start exploring other things in my life. I think the basis of my identity is how can Lonnie be the best uh, split, image, split image of God that he can be, right? And that's me going into the Word, understanding what that is, understanding what it is to be godly like, you know, all those things, right? And that's what the research comes in, right? You dig deep into the Word, God will lead you into the right direction. He will give you the tools that you need to be able to prevail in this matter. Once, you, once he's placed you, once he's given you purpose, once he's given you a provision, once he's given you identity, now, now, now becomes parameters, right? So once you've explored all of that, now you can set parameters around your life. What you like, what you don't like, what you want to involve yourself in, what you wouldn't tolerate, uh, the type of relationships that you want to be involved with, you know what I mean? Whether it's friends, family, or uh, I'll say, uh, I'm gonna speak in this language, husband or wife, you know, getting into that. Because I feel like being in a relationship is very serious. You know, you don't, you don't just date to date. I feel like now what I'm learning about this now, you have to date with a purpose, okay? You have to date, you know, knowing that, you know, you have this vision, you know, for your life. So when you date, the expectation is to really take your relationship to marriage, right? But that, that's, that's a whole different topic and subject, but I'm just giving you the guidelines in which, uh, again, like I said, you know, back, you know, to the cup method. So the cup represents uh, God, and you're inside this cup, so now you're in the presence of God. So God is going to fulfill you with the tools that you need along the way of mastering your singleness. So he's going to provide you, right, he's going to fulfill a cup with place, he's already, he's already placed you in his presence. Uh, he's going to give you purpose, he's going to give you provision, he's going to give you identity, he's going to set parameters. Then you're going to notice that your cup is going to start to overflow with all this wisdom. I just kind of wanted to share that you know, with you guys and I just feel like it's very important that um, we understand what mastering your singleness is, right? Because I believe that we all may have our own personal vision of what we think singleness is. Some people may think singleness is being free, not being in a relationship, you know, not being able to answer to nobody, you know, dating around, testing the waters, and, you know, living your best life or living a reckless life. And I just feel like that's not God's purpose. That's just my opinion. I think God's purpose for man is a trip. It always starts with, with, with man, right? So, like I said in a previous video, Man was who God made first, okay? God put man in the garden in the Eden. Eden was a spot. That spot is basically in the presence of God, right? So God made man single, okay? And once man began to understand why he was put on this earth was God was gonna be able to give him a purpose, provision, identity, and his parameters. Those are the basic guidelines. I'm gonna share something else with you that I feel like really resonated with me. So it says in Peter chapter one, verse three, it says, and I'm looking at my phone by the way, okay? So it says, um, and I didn't bring my Bible, so this is the things that I screenshot on my phone, so. It says, by his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a, a godly life. Right? We have received all of this by coming to know him, the one who called us to himself by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. So to me, I just feel like that scripture alone just bluntly told me that God has given us everything to live a godly life. And again, if we go back, I'm sorry, and I keep looking at my screen, Again, this is my second video, so I've got to get used to looking at the actual camera, but God has given us the tools to master our singleness as one, right? So, um, and, and, and I really took a liking to that scripture because it basically clarified that there are rules to this, 
right? Um, and then also Corinthians chapter 10, verse 23, it says, you say I am allowed to do anything, but not everything is good for you. You say I am allowed to do anything, but not everything is beneficial. That scripture also resonated with me too, because it's like, God don't want you out here living a reckless life. God don't want you out here, you know, taking your own path, making your own decisions. There's a way of doing things, right? And it goes back to what I was saying in the first video. It's not what we selfishly want for ourselves, right? Making decisions our, ourselves without, you know, without consulting with God. And that's why a lot of our, a lot of people in their lives, you know, we go through these situations in our lives because we're making these decisions and there's no receipts for them, right? That's a decision that you made. That was a decision that you consulted with God. So now I'm understanding that, you know, in my life, when I want to do something, I'm going to have to consult with God and really ask for his blessing and say, you know, is this the right thing that I, that I should be doing or isn't it? You know what I mean? So I think, you know, those two scriptures, I, I feel like gave me the ammunition to uh, basically tell myself, you know what, these guidelines are uh, something that I need, need to abide by.